Welcome back, I am John P. Today, I am very excited to share with you a watch that I think is truly going to shake up the watch market. It's on my wrist today. This is the Sega Design Blue Planet watch. And what's special about this watch, which I will share with you in just one minute, is the beautiful dial, the globe dial, and the design and the aesthetics, and truly the quality that I would expect on a watch, many times the price point. And what's so special about this watch is that it's from a part or a country in the world that you would not expect a watch like this to come from historically, but things are changing in the watch industry very quickly, uh, as you know, if you are a watch collector. So I think it's going to surprise you uh, quite a bit where this watch comes from. After I talk a little bit about it, I'm going to uh, go underneath the lens and share with you a little bit of a close up um, about the watch and why I think this watch should be something you can consider for your collection. If you're looking for something a little bit fun and quirky, if you can actually manage to uh, get one, because go figure, right? Another watch uh, in the watch industry today that is hard to get. It's not only just Rolex, but before we do that, guys, please do not forget the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Check out my Instagram, The Real John P, where you can see a little bit more about th this particular watch, as well as uh, other watches that we have at DelrayWatch.com. As well, do not forget to check out Sinclair straps.com and I want to go ahead and uh, share a special thanks to Sega Design. There's going to be a link in the description below where you can find out more about this watch, some of the other watches uh, that they do create and I do want to thank them for sending me this watch. They knew that I really liked it and enjoyed it. I'll share with you the reasons why um, but they sent me one and this is a watch um, that I want to share with you because you just can't really seem to get it currently. I hope that this does change in the future. But if you are interested throughout the video, make sure to check the link in the description below where you can sign up on their site to get notifications or perhaps arrange um, the purchasing of this watch. So what is the watch in question today? This is going to be the Sega Design Blue Planet watch. Now, why is this watch special? So for those of that that are not familiar, there is this um, there's this competition essentially, and some people call it you know like the Grammys or the Emmys um, of the watch making world, and it's the GPHG, the the Grand Prix of Horology essentially, and all the greats submit different watches in this contest, and there's a, a panel of judges, about thirty judges, that have different. Um, advanced experience in watches, anything from the distribution to the creation and the design. Legends of the watch industry are typically the judges of the GPHG, and all of the greats are typically the ones that take home the awards. Now, they have a special category called the challenge category, and this is where the Sega Design Blue Planet won the 2021 um, GPHG challenge category, and they destroyed the competition. It was uh, it was almost a no-brainer here um, with this particular brand, and it was shocking because they beat you know some of the brands in this more uh, junior category, um, such as Oris. They beat Doxa and some of the other brands that many thought were a sure win. And this new entrant comes, and Sika Design is a company that's been around for a little while and they've done things, they've made uh, alternatives, more affordable alternatives, think the few hundred dollar price point watches uh, against things like Richard Mill. But they wanted to change up the owner of the company and the designer, they wanted to change up the style and go for something a little bit more high end and they submitted to the GPHG and they won the challenge category. And why this is special and why I'm just excited to talk about this and share it is the brand is from China. Now, I have many friends that are from China. I study with many people from China and I still remain in contact with many people. I even have, you know, WeChat installed on my phone so I can maintain contact with a lot of people in, in the world for, for different things. Um, so, uh, you know, it's certainly not anything uh, against China, but it's just the facts are many people in watches, including those that collect Swiss watches and German watches have traditionally thought of watches coming out of China as maybe being a little bit more inferior or lower end, but things have been changing and changing quickly. And the fact that a Chinese company has proven themselves in the GPHG among some of the oldest Swiss 
brands and some of the hottest Swiss brands and won the competition, I think is amazing. And it's so cool to see that kind of a, a company like Sega Design really ruffling, uh, rustling the feathers of you know the traditional watchmaking uh, powerhouses and companies that almost have created a pay to play type of scenario where they win the own, their own awards here. We have a new company uh, that's from a part of the world where not as many people would have thought that something so um, high end uh, or you know enough to where it's winning these types of competitions. So I'm truly impressed that they've been able to do that and so many other people have been uh, as well. So I think that's pretty amazing. Now what we're going to do um, is actually flip over here the camera angle and show you um, a little bit about why I'm excited for this Sega uh, watch, the Blue Planet. So here we have the Sega Design Blue Planet watch. Now, at the first glance, what you're gonna know is this does look very futuristic, avant-garde, almost space age, right? You do have the globe on the dial, which is very interesting and unique. You see this from some other watch manufacturers, but typically you see this in higher end watchmaking unless the globe doesn't move but that's not the case with this particular watch the globe does rotate and we'll be showing you that but at first glance this watch is absolutely gorgeous you see that you see the globe you see the world you see the, the numbers around the, the bezels and the ray hot indicating the different times which we'll show you uh, but at first glance i personally think it's a very gorgeous attractive and handsome watch and sega design actually claims that the different altitudes of the sea levels as well as uh, the mountains and the lands on the globe are somewhat accurately reflected. So when they were creating the dial of this watch with the globe, they actually wanted it to be you know, pretty realistic in terms of the proportions of the different land masses and things of that nature. So I think that's actually quite a nice touch. But looking at the case itself, we do have a bit of a larger case size. This is going to be a 46 millimeter case size but it's entirely circular so it does wear a little bit different than you would imagine otherwise and the fact that the strap kind of comes under the case makes it wear a little bit different than you would expect from a 46 millimeter case which is a, a case size that personally i would wouldn't be able to normally wear under normal circumstances but the fact that the strap goes under the watch and kind of hooks under there knocks off a handful of millimeters that really makes it comfortable when, when I have put this watch on my wrist. And of course we do, keeping this kind of uh, avant-garde space aged theme to the watch, it is made out of titanium, so it's incredibly light. It also seems to be somewhat hollow in a sense that it's much lighter than I would expect from even a titanium cased watch. Now it is on a rubber strap, so that's gonna add some lightness to it as well compared to a bracelet but the titanium I think is a very nice touch. It's gonna to make it hard and wearable as well going into the future. Now we do have with the, the globe here being displayed under a somewhat slightly domed sapphire crystal which adds the overall globe, overarching globe feel and a very smooth aesthetic to the watch. I think that's a nice touch. Uh, likely they did that to make space um, underneath the crystal for the globe to pop out with the varying degrees of uh, depth there. Um, so I think it makes sense from a technical perspective, but also it does kind of add uh, a more spherical presence to the watch on the wrist, especially when hitting it uh, in different conditions, such as lighting in the outdoors. Now, moving on to the, the, ca the case back, we also have a screw down case back, which is gonna help the watch achieve a hundred feet um, water resistance, which I, I think is nice because it does make the watch ultra wearable. Um, you know, sometimes with these watches that get a little bit more avant-garde, they lack water resistance rating and that can be a little bit defeating for collectors because they want to wear their watches, right? So I, I like the fact that they did do that and they do have the screw down case back with the Sapphire um, display showing off the movement with a GPHG logo on the Sapphire case back. Now, this is an early production version of the watch. Keep in mind that they are in high demand because they won the category. They kind of took the industry by storm. You can see so many articles from all the different blogs that have been talking about this because it, of just what they've been able to do in a short period of time. So I think they are very proud of the GPHG award and they want to put that on the case back. I think probably as time went on, they'll probably remove that when the brand becomes a little bit more solidified in terms of 
um, their notoriety, in which case they won't really need to put that on the watch. And this is an early uh, production version of the watch. So I do anticipate that that would probably be removed sometime into the future. And I think it makes sense that if they did that, because you would see you know, a more than adequately decorated movement. I mean, we do have perlage on several parts in, in several levels and layers of uh, the movement. And we do have decorations. We do have some um, different Coast de Genève um, style uh, embellishments on the winding mass. And overall, I do think that um, for a watch in a more approachable segment, um, especially where the segment they were competing in the GPHG and the newer brand, I think they do a more than adequate job on the decoration of the watch. Now, I suspect that it's, um, it, I can tell that it has been significantly modified in order to gear train the way that they handle the dial on the flip side, which I'll show you in a second. But I do uh, expect this looking under a loop. It seems like this could be just a, a heavily modified uh, Salida or an STP style movement. This could be a, an Asian uh, equivalent, um, but at, at this kind of juncture with the way that it's displayed and the way that they are um, in the, in the place that they're at in terms of their production standpoint and, and where they're at with their literature, they, they are not disclosing that as of yet. So that's that's one downside, but I think that will change once the, the patent works through, the patent pending uh, works through as well. But nonetheless, I mean, it, it is a, a quite a beautiful movement for, um, especially for the price point that this is aiming to be at. And of course, they, they do mention that it comes with a 40 hour power reserve, which I think is uh, more than standard and certainly more than sufficient for uh, a watch coming from a micro brand, uh, especially focusing on the aesthetics and not necessarily uh, the technicality of the actual movement being used. Now, we will go ahead and flip it over to the other side. We can see that it does feature this globe and you'll notice there are no hands. Now, part of this patent pending or the patent that they have on the movement here is with the way that the time is being told in the way that the hour and minutes are being told on the watch. Now you'll notice that there is a compass uh, style symbol on, on the actual globe and that's going to denote the pointer, right? It would be a one hand system. Now showing this, you can see that there's also a minutes counter as well as an hour uh, counter on the outer inner bezels of the watch. Now you'll notice that when you rotate the crown, what's moving is the globe as well as the minutes in the hours internal ray hot stands still. Now we'll give you an example. We'll go ahead and we'll turn uh, the globe to show you what a 12 o'clock would look like. So you can get an idea for how the time is told. Now this is something like a 12 o'clock would look. And as, as you go on and you move the minutes hands moves quicker than the hour hands and that's going to achieve a more accurate reading so that you don't need the two hands now typically when if this were a normal functionality of a watch movement that would not be able to be done but the fact that sega wanted this to be more realistic and use the one hand style indicator that's on the globe they had to modify the tool um, the gearing in order to achieve this so that's where kind of the patent pending um, aspect comes in place. Now, as you see, the globe just moves very smoothly. It's very romantic and the light kind of bounces off the different depths of the land masses and the deep blue on the dial. Overall, I think this is a very aesthetically pleasing watch. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. As you know, I have a 6.5 or actually just under now inch wrist and clocking in at 46 millimeters. This is really not too obtrusive on the wrist. I, I think it's very handsome and a uh, overall a really gorgeous and technically pleasing watch in addition to the aesthetics of the watch. So how about that? What do we think about this Sega Design Blue Planet watch? Personally, I think the watch is very handsome. It's unique. Um, I think if you're looking for that kind of funky, cool watch in the style of something like an Icapod, right? The legendary Mark Newsom designs that have taken off 
Um, you know, one of the contributors to the different Apple products has similarly designed watches in the past that have really taken off. And I think this draws some of the design cues from that. It's avant-garde, it's funky, it has a unique kind of mission if you check out the website Sega Design. I think they do pretty much everything the watch that I've received here as this example, uh, kind of a press example here, I think they've just executed everything so well. Now, if you are interested in one of these watches, I will say that it seems to be a little bit difficult to purchase one. There's not seemingly a web store. They have a website that you can go, you can fill out a form. It looks like the purchasing might be uh, per request at this point. This is a watch that is just being made available to the public, so I think you do have to fill out a form. There have been kind of some forum posts of people trying to purchase the watches, um, so you will have to do a little bit of work there, but I think if this is the kind of style of watch that you're looking for. Um, I couldn't really find any flaws with it besides the kind of uh, air of secrecy in the movement, which once again, you know, the fact that they don't tell you what the base movement is and they've kind of polished off and decorated the watch past certain points of recognition. You can kind of tell, um, you know, at least the overall base design of the movement, but as far as what movement they used, uh, I think time will tell and that'll probably open up once the brand solidifies and they work through uh, the patent that they have on the movement and feel a little bit more comfortable in their own uh, coming out um, with a significant amount of time past the GPHG uh, award winning. But let me know, what do you think about the Sika Design Blue Planet? I would love to see it and hear it in the comments below. Please do not forget the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Uh, you can check out once again, Seeker Design, link in the description below. I'm on Instagram, TheRealJohnP, and DelrayWatch.com. Thanks guys, you've been chatting with John P. Ciao.